Nihahandog ng Atomic Productions, isang pelikulang pinakahihintay ng lahat mula sa kamay ni Direk Atomic. Ako si Direk Atomic, isa sa pinakamagaling director sa buong Pilipinas. Hose ako maghawak ng kamera, magsulat ng script, at magayos ng set. Basta tungkol sa pelikula, eksperto ako dyan. Pero alam niyo ba kung sino ang nagturo sa akin? Sino ba? Eh di magaling na director din. Si Peke Galiaga. Bagay ang cover. I do many kinds of movies. I do uh, fantasy. I do horror. I do epic political uh, historical uh, studies of the Philippines in crossroads. My first movie that I did called Bin He, which was awful. <laughs> it was terrible. Oh, si Tito Peke talaga. Maraming ginawang magagandang pelikula si Tito Peke. Pero maliban sa pagdidirect ng mga ito, minsay siya rin ang scriptwriter at set designer nito. Ang dami niyang ginagawa, no? Kaya nga sa kanya ako nagpaturong gumawa ng pelikula, eh. Ang producer ay isang taong gusto gumawa ng pelikula. Minsan, may mga artistang gusto niyang gawing bida sa pelikula o may kwento siyang gustong isa pelikula. Kinakausap niya ang direktor para matulungan siya. It's always the producer who says, let's do a movie with. It's always a chemical combination of two actors that they say, kikita yon. The public will want to see what these two people do. Oh, sige, Direk Atom, ikaw nang bahala ah. Ikaw ang bagay sa pelikula ko! Ikaw ang bagay sa pelikula ko! Tinan mo, may tama kang buhok! Yan, tapos yung mata mo! Perfect! Perfect na nga! Grabe! Ako? Artista? Tungkol saan ba ang pelikula mo? Hmm... Then you write the script. Ang script ay ang kwento ng pelikula. Dito nakasulat ang mga mangyayari sa bawat eksena, kung ano ang sasabihin ng bawat tauhan, at saan ito magaganap. I like it. I like it. The, the artistas have feedback. The producer has feedback. And then once everything is fixed, then you have what you call pre-production. You sit down with the script and you break down the script. Everything. What are you going to shoot today? What are you going to shoot tomorrow? What are you going to? You schedule all all the shooting days. On that schedule, you find out what props are you going to use. So you make a budget, the lights, how much are the equipment going to cost, how much are the people going to cost. Nako, saan ako kukuha ng ganyan pera? Ay, kailangan ako magtipid. Then when everything is fixed, then you set up and you do the actual shooting. Pwede na ba magsimula? Kailangan matapos yung lahat ng ito sa araw na to, ano? O sige, sige. Quiet on the set! Lights! Camera! Ak oh! Atom! Atom! Ah, direct! Sandali lang, ha? Nagkahanap lang ako ng costume, tsaka maglalagay lang akong konting makeup. Di ba kailangan yun? Oo nga, no? Sabi ni Tito Peke, ang shooting ay malaking bahagi sa paggawa ng isang pelikula. Maraming tao ang kasali sa pagsishoot at ang dami nang nangyayari bago pa mantukunan ng mga eksena. 
I'm the wardrobe master here. Ako yung nagpapabihes for every sequence na ititake. Ang makeup hair style is up. Importante para sa mga artista para maging maganda sila. Um, pag mag-shoot kami, para pa rin ba pauwisan sila, kailangan pa rin punasan, yun na. Uh, ako yung cinematographer. Ang cinematographer, yun ang um, nagsusupport uh, sa istorya through lighting and uh, and uh, photography. Ang cameraman is a camera operator. The cinematographer is he. He is the one who lights the set and at the same time, minsan siya rin nagka-camera operator. Kumbaga sa mga painter, di ba? Nagamit nila eh, brush, ano? Kami naman ang ginagamit namin ilaw. May shooting kami ngayon kay Jomari at saka kay G. You do it. As a director, I believe that the role of a director, more important is inspiration. Uh, to let them know exactly what's in your head, what you want, what you see, and then to inspire them to get it. Parang so that ganado rin sila, di ba? Okay, Direk, ready na ako. Pwede na kayo mag-lights, camera at action. Sandali lang, Adam. Practice muna. You take the telephone there. Carpet. Bago humingkot ang camera, kailangan muna magsanay ng mga artista. Makakatulong rin ito sa mga cameraman para malaman nila ang tamang agulo sa pagkuha ng eksena. Uh, you have to focus. So you have to know exactly how are you telling your story? How is it going to be told? What is the camera going to show? And then they show you a costume, and then this is happening. They're putting up the lights. You know, there's so, so much going on. Oh, sige, sige, handa na tayo. Lights! Camera! Three, two, one, action! Three. Ha, yung buhay artista. Yan ka siya. Kami yung parating inuutusan ko nung gagawin. <laughs> Gumigising ako na maagang maaga. Palagi akong puyat. But those are the things that's, that I find fun about being an actress. I think it's being able to play make-believe. Pretending, using your imagination, turning a scene into a reality. It's really fun. It's like play. Okay, so make sure that you're playing for camera and you... I'm strict, them... but it's a kind of strictness na kung teacher ka, uh, hindi sumisigaw sa klase, hindi dinadaanan sa sure takot. I'm strict because I expect very, very high performance from myself and then so my fellow artists my artistas and everything they see that too and parang na inspiring sila kaya't patuloy pa rin nagsusumikap si Tito Peke na pagandahin ang kanyang mga pelikula at marami na nga siyang napanalunang awards eh so and you make your world big by reading and by sharing with others and by being truly interested in things outside of yourself that's my advice Starring Atom Araulio. The end. The end? Sandali lang, Derek. Anong the end? Hindi ko pa nga napapakita yung pelikula. The end na kagad? Ah, kasi sa dami kong ginagawa, may nakalimutan akong gawin. Ha? Eh, nakalimutan ko lagyan ng film yung camera eh. Huwag <laughs> ka magalit, ha? Derek! Atom! Derek! Atom! Derek! Sige, okay na yan. Kukunin kita ulit sa pelikula. Derek! Hindi ka na magalit.